Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and in this video, we're going to check out some audio products that work with iOS devices from Apple, like the iPad, iPhone, and the iPod Touch, and they also make great gifts for the holidays. Let's get started with a microphone from Apogee Electronics called simply Mic. A simple name for a very simple to use but excellent sounding microphone, Mic works with both iOS devices and Mac computers. Apogee products have been a staple in top studios for a long time now, but over the last few years they've been developing less expensive products for Apple platforms that still maintain the company's outstanding audio quality. Mic is certainly one of those. It's a very small but solidly built condenser microphone in an all metal form factor powered by your iOS device or computer, and it uses what Apogee calls pure digital technology. That means that the acoustic sound picked up at the mic capsule is converted to a digital format inside the microphone using Apogee's outstanding converters at a resolution of 24-bit and sampling rates of 44.1 or 48 kilohertz. The only knob to worry about is right here on the side where you set your input level, which is made pretty easy by the LED light on the front. Green is a good solid level. If it glows red, you're a little hot, so turn the level down, and that's it. Mike comes with a fold-out tripod stand and two cables, a USB cable and another one for iOS devices using the 30-pin dock connection. If you want to use Mike with Apple's newer Lightning dock, you'll need to pick up an adapter. There's no drivers or software to worry about. Mike is plug in and start recording. It's a great all-purpose mic for the price, whether you're doing voiceover recording for a podcast, vocal recording for music, and even general instrument recording. It's simple to use, and it sounds great. Let's move on. Next up is an audio interface from another company also highly regarded by studio pros. This is the iTrack Solo from Focusrite, an audio interface designed to help you get better quality audio recordings on your computer and get better sound when you play back audio from the computer. And the iTrack Solo does exactly that for both Mac and PC platforms. But as you may have guessed, since it's in our audio for iOS roundup, it also works with the iPad. The iTrack Solo features a small, rugged aluminum unibody chassis that is super portable, weighing just over a pound. There are two input options available, an unbalanced quarter-inch input for guitars or basses, and an XLR input for microphones. 48 volts phantom power is available for condenser microphones that require power, and both inputs feature easy-to-access gain knobs with LED rings that glow green when the signal level is good, and red if you're overloading and need to bring the input level down. Focusrite is renowned for their high-quality preamps, and the one on the iTrack Solo is no exception. In fact, it's the same preamp from their Scarlet and Sapphire interfaces. The iPad doesn't supply quite enough juice for the iTrack Solo, so you'll need to plug in the included power supply. A device link cable is supplied that connects the iTrack Solo to the iPad's 30-pin dock connector. You'll have to pick up an adapter if your iPad has a smaller lightning connection. The USB connection will power the unit though, so if you're using it with a computer, no power supply is necessary. You can record both the guitar input and the mic input at the same time. For monitoring, the iTrack Solo has two unbalanced RCA line outs and a quarter inch stereo headphone jack, and this big knob on the front controls the volume. Recording to a computer or iOS device can incur latency in the monitors due to processing time, and that can throw you off a bit. The direct monitor switch solves that problem by routing the input signal directly to the monitor so there's no time lag. No additional drivers or software is necessary if you're using the iTrack Solo with an iPad. Just plug it in and you're ready to start recording to GarageBand or other apps if you prefer. As an added bonus, the iTrack Solo ships with the Scarlett plug-in suite for Mac and PC, which includes EQ, compression, gate, and reverb. And you can run these plugins in any number of digital audio workstations, including the Ableton Live Lite software for Mac and PC that is also included, making this inexpensive interface a really great value. Our next product is a neat little device for iPhone users from Fostex. This is the AR4i, and it allows you to record stereo audio to the iPhone 4, 4S and fourth generation iPod Touch. Whether you're looking to create stereo sound recordings by themselves or add stereo sound to the videos you create on the iPhone. 
The iPhone fits right into the sturdy plastic and metal chassis, and then you attach the hand grip and microphones, and you're ready to go. The chassis and grip together weigh a little bit less than 11 ounces and will run for approximately 8 to 10 hours on two AAA batteries, or it can be powered through this mini USB DC power connection. The mics are cardioid, so they capture sound in the direction they're pointed in, and they can pivot in the eighth inch jacks, allowing you to point the mics up or down depending on where your subject is located. You can also reorient the AR4i from vertical to a horizontal or landscape mode by attaching the grip this way instead and the mics on top. With the mics in this setup, you can point them wider for a larger stereo image or closer together for a more focused sound. For interviews, you can turn one of the mics toward yourself and the other toward your subject. The mics also feature foam windscreens to cut down on wind noise, especially helpful if you're shooting outside. This dial sets your input levels for both mics, and LED meters help you set the levels. More sophisticated controls are also available via the AR4i app, available for free on iTunes. With the app, you can choose different settings for the optional onboard limiter, which helps keep sudden loud signals from overloading. You can also engage the low cut filter to help reduce wind and mechanical noise, and the cutoff frequency steps up from 80 hertz to 200, 300, up to 600 hertz. Also pretty cool is the fact that you can pull the mics and then the eighth inch jacks will accept line level signals, allowing you to record a stereo keyboard, mixer, or other audio device to your iPhone. For monitoring, there's an eighth inch headphone jack with a volume knob for your listening pleasure. Two more smart touches, one, the grip has a quarter 20 thread on the bottom for additional mounting options, like a tripod, for example. And two, there's a cold shoe mount, which you can use to mount an on-camera light or external microphone, which you can then plug in to one of the eighth inch mic inputs instead of one of the supplied microphones. The final audio for iOS item we're looking at today is the iRig Keys from IK Multimedia. There are a lot of great music apps for iOS, but playing them from the device's touch screen isn't always the most musical experience, so enter the iRig Keys. This very slim, 37-key, velocity-sensitive mini keyboard weighs only about a pound and a half, so it's ultra-portable, and it works with both Mac and PC, and of course, iOS devices. The iRig Keys is powered by your computer or iOS device and requires no additional drivers or software to work with a computer or iOS device. You plug it in and you're ready to play. Small controller keyboards like this sometimes lose the pitch and mod wheels to save space, but fortunately they are still here on the iRig Keys. Three octaves is pretty good for a mini keyboard, but transpose buttons expand the range as needed. Program up and down buttons allow you to send program changes to virtual synths right from the keyboard. It's very helpful when you're trying to find just the right sound while you're playing. Also on board is a programmable volume knob. It's set up to send MIDI volume data, but if you'd like to reroute it to another parameter, say a filter cutoff on a synth, for example, that's no problem. The edit mode also allows you to customize the touch sensitivity, transposition, and MIDI functions, and you can save your custom settings to one of four set positions, easily accessible with the set button. For added value, the iRig Keys includes the Sample Tank app for both iOS devices as well as Mac and PC. This virtual sound module features a nice selection of instruments and patterns, and the computer version can function as either a standalone or as a plug-in for most DAWs, including Logic, Live, and more. So there's a look at four easy-to-use audio accessories for iOS devices that make great gifts for the holidays. Apogee's mic delivers high-quality vocal and acoustic instrument recordings in a small, rugged form factor. The iTrack Solo from Focusrite is a versatile audio interface that allows you to plug in microphones or instruments and record them. The Fostex AR4i brings a versatile stereo recording to the iPhone 4, 4S, and 4th generation iPod Touch. And finally, the iRig Keys from IK Multimedia is a plug and play keyboard that's ready to travel. I'm Rob from BH, and thanks for watching. For more information, please visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. You can also connect with us on the web.